that we have to understand a few uh, fundamental properties of um, light. Okay, now light is, um, I'm just going to show this part of this slide right now. Light uh, is described in terms of waves. Uh, we use this, uh, the reason why we use waves to describe light is because, um, you know, waves exist in a lot of different places in the natural world. And so mathematicians have developed um, mathematical models to describe um, the behavior of wave like behavior of, of various substances, whether that be, you know, sound moving or water waves or, you know, um, light in this case. And so the way what we understand then some ways of describing different waves is to describe the wave by its wavelength and the wavelength is the distance from peak to peak or uh, or um, trough to trough it doesn't matter um, it's the same so you can either measure from peak to peak or trough to trough that's the bottom of the wave versus the top of the wave um, and that's called the wavelength and you can see these two different waves are described by their wavelengths this wavelength is longer than that wavelength. And the other way that we describe light is by the frequency. And what that means is the frequency, how many peaks pass, because these waves are, are, are traveling in space. They are not static. These waves, the types of waves that are associated with electromagnetic radiation or light, are moving waves. And so they're moving through space. Actually, um, light travels, the speed of light is constant, you know, um, in a vacuum. And so they're moving at this constant speed, but the wavelengths are different. So the frequency then is telling us how many peaks pass a certain point in time um, of the longer wavelength versus the shorter wavelength. And you can see if these two waves were traveling at the same speed, that the number of peaks that would um, pass, say, this point in time on the long wavelength would be fewer peaks than the number of peaks that would pass this space, place, and time um, for this shorter wavelength. All right, so then the correlation is that the longer wavelength has a lower frequency, fewer number of peaks passing the point at a given time, and the shorter wavelength has a higher frequency. And frequency is expressed in units of one over second. Wavelengths are expressed in a, in a unit, a length unit, some, some um, uh, meter. Um, but the frequency is always expressed in one over seconds, and also that's the hertz. The hertz is a frequency unit, so sometimes you'll hear, you know, um, 95 hertz, or it's the same as 95 one over seconds, or per second is sometimes how it's described. Now there's this relationship between wavelength and frequency, and it's a fixed relationship, and that relationship is that the frequency is equal to, um, the, this is the abbreviation for frequency, it's a little new, um, is equal to C, that's a constant, and that constant is the speed of light in a vacuum, um, divided by lambda, that's the wavelength. Okay, and so the speed of light is really 2.99 something, 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 but it's, it's okay to round it off to 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That's the constant, um, the speed of light in a vacuum. And then the frequency, of course, the unit is going to be 1 over seconds. And then in this relationship, the wavelength unit has to be expressed in terms of meters in order for the units to work out with this constant expressed in these units meters per second. So that way, meters per second over meters equals one over seconds, and so the, free, the units will match on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So given um, some wavelength in meters, you can, you can calculate the, um, excuse me, the frequency, or given the frequency in, in, in units of hertz, one over seconds or per seconds, you can, uh, knowing the speed of light, you can calculate the wavelength. So back and forth is this relationship. It's an inverse relationship. This is the constant. And, um, and uh, this is the relationship. As the wavelength gets longer, uh, the frequency is lower. Okay? All right, so that's just one way that we describe. So if you hear people talking about, you know, um, the electromagnetic spectrum and parts of it in, in, units, uh, in terms of wavelength or frequency, it's just a way to talk about the different parts of the spectrum because the electromagnetic radiation has properties that are similar to waves. So you can use the wave math and, and wave properties to describe um, 
the different parts of the electromagnetic 